Previously, we built the concept of forts. Now, we will take up explaining the concept of understanding the direction. A. Map reading. B. Scale of the map. So, let's get started. Initiate another discussion with the students by informing them that they will be knowing more about the famous Golconda Fort. Display the guide map of the Golconda Fort and then ask the students, What can you understand by seeing this picture? The students may say that they think it is an outline of Golconda Fort or top view of the Golconda Fort and more such responses. State that the representation of a large place on a small piece of paper using a sketch is called a map. Inform the students that a person who creates maps is called a cartographer. Inform them that today they will become a cartographer and perform an activity. Begin the activity by first dividing the class into four equal groups. As the students will be working in groups, their effective communication skills and interpersonal relationships will be developed. Ask the students to go to different locations within the school premises. For instance, Group 1 may go to the principal's office. Don't forget to mention that discipline has to be maintained while performing this activity. After all the students come back, ask them to trace the path from the classroom to the location they have just visited. After they are done, ask them, how will you mark the actual directions on the map you have created? Let the students think and answer. This will develop their critical thinking. State that they can find the four cardinal directions through a small activity. And what's the activity? Let's see that in our next video.